also encourage you, if you are not a tither, right. there's a principle there. Yes, it is. That part of our income that yeah. we keep, that we hold for ourselves, I think it's in extremely important to set aside the first tenth yes. out of your paycheck, the first tenth out of your income, the first tenth out of what you receive, set it aside. Don't assign it to something else. And then come back and give God what is left. Right. Be intentional. Yeah. Set it aside. Yeah. Let me say it again. Set it yeah. aside. Yeah. And come and bring the Lord in It's all. tithing time for you. What is the real reason to do this particular ministry unto the Lord? First, because it means we are losing both our fear of money and our worship of money. Let me say it again. You got to lose your fear of money. Money is our servant. We're not money servant. I control my money. My money doesn't control me. Anybody understand? Lose your fear of money. And then lose your worship of money. Don't ever fool yourself into thinking that if you get a whole bunch of money, everything's going to be all right. Because there are people, I drove along the Golden Gate Bridge and watched a man one day get out of a fine car. Pulled it over to the side, got out of it, had on some really nice, really, really nice, expensive sportswear. And I watched him, my own self, climb over the railing of the Golden Gate Bridge and disappear into the water. Yeah, I mean, Lord. And not his fine car or his fine clothes could quell the storm, whatever it was, in his soul that made him feel that he needed to take his life. Don't worship money. Money doesn't fix everything. You got to hear what I'm saying to you. You've been sad when you had it and sad when you didn't. Anybody understand me? We use it. It is our tool. It is legal tender. Anybody hear what I'm saying? You yield it. You tend it for things that we need to do. But the God that gave it to you hey. is calling on you to sanctify your money. Anybody hear what I'm saying? The word sanctify means set aside. Set it aside. Write your check before you leave home. Set it aside. Prepare to do the giving with the kind of diligence that says I'm giving unto the Lord. And I want to encourage you. Tithing is right. Why is tithing right? Tithing is right because it takes the same percentage from everyone. That's right. So if you have $100, your tithe is appropriate to that 100 If you have 1000 your tithe is appropriate to that 1000 If you have 10000 your tithe is appropriate to that 10000 That means that no one is disproportionately affected. All of us have an opportunity to share of our substance. Bring the tithe into the storehouse. I love that scripture. Yeah. That the house of God will have meat enough so that we will have what we need to do what we need to do for those that can do so little. God will use us in this city. God will use us in this neighborhood, but only in proportion to what we are willing to give. Somebody said, well, the other people will give. No, the assignment from the Spirit today is for everyone to give. Out of the abundance of the things that you possess. Right, right. Well, I'll give it when God gives me some more. No, let me tell you about the economy of God. I love the scripture that says, Give, and it shall be given you. This is the economy of God. Give, and it shall be given you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together and running over. Look, shall men and women give into your bosom? What does it mean? If God can trust you to give out of what you have, then God can give you so much more. And people will give to you. I'm telling you what I know. People give to people who give to others. Look at somebody say, she got that right. People don't give to stingy people. I'm doing real good with this. People give to people who give to others. And as you give, 
God will allow a residual of your gifts to stay with you. God does not only supply what we need, but God will give you a whole lot of things just because you want them. Oh, somebody got to hear what I'm saying. I thank God for supplying my need. But I thank God also for supplying some things I see along the way. And I say I sure would like to have that. I certainly would like to have that. I certainly would like to have that. Anybody know what I'm talking about? And a little voice back in the back will tell me how I can get it. Anybody understand what I'm talking about? God will bless you and cause you to be a blessing. Sanctify your offering. 